this old man has overstayed his welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest Herbert moments. Ha <laughs> ha you're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. That means we're looking at the most disturbing things Herbert has done throughout Family Guy's lifetime. Yeah! <laughs> Looking for more content you may feel bad for laughing at? Why don't you head over to Mojo TV, the new mobile and TV app where we've been adding all your Watch Mojo favorites we can't show on YouTube. Check out the link in the description box below or find it on your favorite app store. Number 10, where he hides his money. We all try to keep our most prized possessions close to us, but Herbert seems to take it to a whole other level. In one of Family Guy's signature cutaways, Peter teaches a group of kids about pickpocketing when he spots Herbert a few feet away. All right, boys, the best targets are old rich people. There's one now, go get him. He commands the kids to go after Herbert, and the man does nothing to defend himself, instead giving away where he's hidden a small wad of cash. And it's not in his wallet. Honestly, this guy will try anything. Oh no, there's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. Number nine, babysitting the Griffins. Oh yeah, maybe Herbert can watch the kids. He seems like a responsible guy. To any normal viewer, this seemed like a neighbor doing a favor. Longtime Family Guy viewers, on the other hand, saw this coming a mile away. So it would only be till Monday and we could pay you for it. Yeah, and it's real easy, I promise. I mean, you, you've spent time watching children, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. In the season six episode, Play It Again, Brian, Herbert babysits the Griffin kids while Peter, Lois, and Brian take a vacation to a vineyard. <laughs> right from the start, Herbert threatens them, well, more so Chris, with a slap if they backtalk. So I want to lay down a few ground rules. No cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio, and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me, or I'm gonna slap you right in your penis. He even attempts to talk Chris into giving him a bath, only to find himself getting one from Meg. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me. But I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Jeez, way to take one for the team, Meg. Number eight, the answering machine. This was either Herbert's most famous or most infamous moment of the show. In the episode To Love and Die in Dixie, the Griffins are placed under a witness protection program and must live in Texas until things clear up. However, upon their return, they find their answering machine has received over a hundred voice messages, all of them from Herbert. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, mm, well, where the newspaper boy was. I haven't seen a newspaper in a couple days. Wondering if you ever gonna come back. As the messages go on, his tone gets worse and worse, growing from his normal, creepy self to aggressive and threatening. Sorry to leave you so many messages. Just lonely here, thinking about the muscle on paper boy. Wishing he'd come by and bring me some good news. Where are you? Ah, oh, you starting to piss me off, you little pigless son bitch. Call me. How have the Griffins not filed restraining orders or left Quahog yet? Number seven, the yard sale. How could Herbert possibly get creepy at something like a yard sale? How much for the gloves? Peter, those are yours. Ten bucks, two, seven, four, five fifty, ten, sold. Second, I would have gone to fifteen easy. I am so stupid. Well, dear viewer, Herbert always finds a way. In season five's famed episode, Road to Rupert, the Griffins hold a yard sale where Chris sells his old clothes. Naturally, Herbert appears, asking about his hand-me-downs, and specifically about clothes that Chris wore during the hotter months of the year. In response, Chris shows him a used pair of shorts. Hey there, Chris. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Selling your old hand-me-downs? Yep. You got anything you used to wear in the summertime? Just these old shorts. Sweet Jesus. It's bad enough this guy hits on Chris on a regular basis, but to be desperate enough to buy old sweaty clothes? That's a whole new level of gross. Number six, Stewie's paper delivery. The episode Moving Out sees Chris get a new job at a convenience store, allowing Stewie to take over his newspaper route. Where'd you get that kind of money? Oh, I picked up Chris's paper route. Yep, you can see where this is heading. Herbert greets his new paper boy from his yard, only to be met with Stewie's typical vitriol. Gosh, 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 it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. 
Oh, we got a fighter. However, the old man's response shows that unfortunately, the insult did not faze him. In fact, possibly the opposite. If we had any words of advice for Stewie, it'd be this. Quit while you can and don't look back. Unfortunately, this would not be the last encounter, as we'll see later on this list. Number 5. Flirting with Kyle While we watched Stewie become a tanning addict in Season 5's The Tan Aquatic with Steve Zissou, Hey, what do you think of my recumbent tan pose? Yeah, legs probably spread a little wider than they ought to be, but who gives a damn? This is just tan Stewie being tan Stewie. We also got a B-plot that was just downright uncomfortable. Chris finds himself at odds with Kyle, a new paperboy who's stolen Herbert's business and continues to bully Chris. Throughout the episode, Herbert greets Kyle in an overly interested tone and makes awkward remarks about his clothes. Well, if it isn't King Lardass. Hey, don't call me names, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> We're not really quite sure why Herbert gets turned on by baggy shorts or venomous remarks from Kyle, but we'd rather not have an explanation. Listen, I think you're a real nice guy, but I've just decided to go with another paper. Hello there, Kyle. You look nice today. I see you wearing your big shorts with the baggy leg holes that flutter so carelessly in the breeze. How has no one called the cops on this guy? Number 4. Sniffing Chris's Hat At the beginning of the Season 9 episode, German Guy, Peter and Chris set out to find Chris a hobby when they run into Herbert. Hey, Christopher. What you up to? Hi, Mr. Herbert. My dad's helping me find a hobby. Well, you sure got a pretty morning for it. Surprisingly, the conversation isn't all that cringy. But just when we thought everything was okay, Herbert does something as Chris walks away. He asks God to let him sniff Chris's hat. Please, God. Let me just sniff his hat. Let me just sniff his hat. That's all I want. A strong breeze manages to blow the hat away and straight into his hands. Now I want more. Alas, this has only encouraged him. Wait a minute, how did Chris not feel his hat fly off his head? Number 3. Watching Peter and Chris Fight It's no surprise that when Herbert hires Chris and Peter to mow his lawn, he has other things on his mind. Great Caesar's ghost! Chris and a chubby little friend? It's like in my dream! Hey there, Chris. You know, I've been looking for a muscly armed young fella to mow my lawn. However, the job goes sour when Chris ends up doing all the work while Peter plays games with Herbert inside. It isn't long before Chris storms in to confront his dad, and the two begin fighting in front of Herbert. Of course, the old man does nothing to stop the fight, and it doesn't help that Chris and Peter yell innuendos at each other. Jesse. Is this really happening? You're going down, old man! I ain't the one going down! You're going down! No way! I'm gonna pound your ass! The whole thing ends with Herbert going out with a bang. And nope, there wasn't any other way to describe that. <laughs> Number 2. Letting Chris Live With Him Over Family Guy's 20-plus year run, we've seen a handful of Herbert's fantasies where Chris is living with him, while wearing no shirt and sweaty shorts. Well, the creeper got his wish in season 11's Criss Cross. After Meg blackmails him for stealing from Lois's purse, Chris runs away to go live with Herbert. Where you going, Chris? Wait, who are you gonna turn to? You don't even have any friends! Hi, I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? During his stay, Herb does everything he can to get close to Chris. Mr. Herbert, it's 6 o'clock. I'm, I'm not really tired yet. Well, you had those three cups of NyQuil. You'll be down soon enough. Okay. Good night, Mr. Herbert. Sweet dreams, Chris. His dreams are shattered when he finds out just how messy and stubborn Chris can be. And he eventually kicks him out, fortunately for Chris. I thought I told you to clean up in here. And why aren't you dressed? We're supposed to have dinner with Judge Maynard and Timmy. Yeah, okay. As soon as I finish this level. No! Get your coat on. It's a three-hour drive to that cabin. All I can say about this list is... So, which Herbert moment makes me say the most? <laughs> Let's look through some honorable or dishonorable mentions, and then we shall see. YMCA, it's fun to stay at the YMCA. Oh, hey, Chris. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman. Boys, boys, we can settle this like reasonable and sexy teenagers. Whoever can swallow the most Tylenol PM wins. Go away, Mr. Herbert. 
not me. I'm in your closet. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run. It said pervert. Everybody into my safety basement. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hiding under a school bus This season 10 episode gave us a rather interesting short called Point of Stew, where viewers got to see the world through Stewie's eyes. Hey kid, come here. I want to see if I can still smell your mom's boobs on your mouth. However, there are some things we wish we hadn't seen. When a prank on Brian goes wrong, Stewie finds himself on a ride through town beneath his dog's car. Oh. Oh, God. Brian! Brian! Guess I'm going for a ride. Along the way, he stops by a school bus full of kids and discovers Herbert underneath. Hey there, little fella. We sure got a lovely day for it, don't we? Stay away from my brother's butt. There have been multiple times where Herbert shows how weak he is. Oh, but he's strong enough to hold on to a bus? That's just downright terrifying. Okay, but like, what if the school bus that Herbert was hiding under drove over like a sea of rakes, Sideshow Bob style? That's comedy. Okay, do you think Herbert is creepy? Funny? Both? Why don't you let us know in the comments what you think his creepiest moment is? Or come talk to me on my YouTube channel or on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton. Also, be sure to watch this other video and check out Mojo TV.